<laughs> Yoko's body was hidden before we found it. But it would have taken quite a long time to tape up a hidden body. No, the body was already taped up and the killer hid it, along with the pillar using the wallpaper. What? They hid the pillar? Yeah. By wrapping the wallpaper around the pillar, the killer was able to create a slightly larger pillar. Yep. So when I first discovered Ibuki's body, Kyoko's body was already there. However, because it was concealed within a slightly larger pillar, I didn't realize that at the time. Well, that's understandable. I mean, it makes sense that you'd notice Ibuki's body right away. So they used the baton lighting on the ceiling to hang the wallpaper? The baton lighting forms a perfect circle around the pillar. Mm -hmm. So using it to hang the wallpaper totally fits. Yep. Then the reason the wallpaper was covered in so many stickers was to make it look like that pillar. That's how they hid Hyoko's body and then peeled off the wallpaper as soon as I left the music room. That makes sense because when we went into the storage room after everyone came in, uh, we did stay, uh, see that there were fewer stickers than before. But the killer made a mistake. They accidentally ripped off a piece of the wallpaper. Disney Plus has all of the Star Wars movies and shows. Yeah, um, it's just I, I don't have the time. That's the problem. <laughs> Anytime I have, I spend streaming pretty much. And because of that, a scrap was left on the baton lighting. The killer must have been in a hurry. Their plan took too long. Hajime could have walked in on them. But going to the trouble of hiding the body and the pillar is very cool and risky. Remember, too, that when we got into the venue, Kazuichi was complaining that it was so hot in there. And then we took a look at the thermostat. And it was set to 86. But the crime itself would be much easier to pull off since they don't have much to do while Hajime's gone. They just have to peel off that wallpaper and stash it in the storage room. It's not that big of a deal. He says just. Then when was Hyoko actually killed? Good point. And on that note, it's about time we shed some light on those imitation murders. Um... You mentioned imitation murder more than once, but what is that? And Ibuki had blood on her shoes. You're right. Are you kidding me? You haven't seen my masterpiece? The Wizard of Monami 2.5D? Hey, don't put my likeness in your movies without my permission. You're pretty hey, noisy. What For up? someone who eats moth balls. Moss balls? I don't eat moss balls. I just enjoy looking at them. I knew it. There are so many similarities. It must have been intentional. Ibuki's death by hanging matches the Scarecrow's death from the movie. Mm hmm It does. Not just that, but Hyoko getting taped up after her death matches the lion's death. I don't know. Didn't the lion get shot by, like, arrows or something? It's as if both crimes were replicas of scenes from the movie, although the mutilated Tin Man was omitted. But why did the killer go to all this trouble in the first place? Based on what we know, the reason the killer chose these imitations isn't that difficult to figure out. <gasps> Imagine if Nekomaru was the Tin Man. The reason the killer imitated the two victims in that movie, I should be able to explain that now because they like movies to hide the weapon to let their accomplice escape to mix up the killing order. I see. The reason the killer imitated two of the murders from the movie was so he'd mix up the killing order. Really? That's why they would do that? Then Kyoko was actually killed before Ibuki? A valid line of reasoning. Okay, alright. So someone murders Hyoko. And then Ibuki, for some reason, is there and sees it happen and is like, Hey, what are you doing? And then they realize that she's got the despair disease and she's gullible right now. So then they made her hang herself. 
I don't know, this is very crazy. Yeah, that stinks, Wolf. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, it's valid. It's uh, too bad she the can't be there for it. The body suggests that as well. What do you mean? <laughs> if you're going to cry and beg like that, then I guess I'll hear about the condition of Ibuki's body. Huh? Gundam? Those are weird things to say. I'm not even crying. I'll let you sob as much as you want later. Just hurry up and tell me before I change my mind. What a jerk! Oh, I see. You want me to explain it to you, right? Because you don't understand what I'm saying, right? An even bigger jerk? Impossible! Look, Ibuki died because she hanged herself, right? That means when she was still alive, her feet were touching the floor. Mm hmm What's wrong with that? She had blood on the bottom of her slippers. But it seems Ibuki was still standing when Hyoko was killed. That would mean Hyoko was killed before Ibuki. <laughs> How light. Your words are so light, as light as the sylph's feather. <laughs> your opponent is out of your league. It is too absurd to try to perplex me so inadequately. What is even happening? Hey, man, he's being annoying again. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, you claim Ibuki's feet were touching the floor when Hiyoko was killed. How can a low-class creature with no psychic abilities like you know something like that? No psychic abilities. Because she was doing something that's only possible if her feet were on the floor. Which was standing there. It seems you suffer from a pathetic delusion. Look at my hamsters. I mean, my devas. <laughs> You're one to talk. Anyway, if this continues, we're just gonna talk in circles. Yep. I think it's best if we clarify Ibuki's status when Hyoko was killed. Make your argument. Blood on the souls. Blood on the souls! When Hyoko died, Ibuki's feet were on the floor. Mm -hmm. I am telling you to present your evidence. Did you see her walking? No. If her feet were on the floor, was there any sign she stepped on something? Mm -hmm. I, I agree. Right there. I agree with that. <laughs> I agree with that. Just as Sonya said, Ibuki stepped on something. That something was blood. There were faint blood stains on the soles of her slippers. That is not Ibuki's blood, right? She suffered no external injuries. Right. And it's Hiyoko's blood. Hiyoko's only wound was a fatal slice on her neck. And she died almost instantly, right? If Ibuki stepped on her blood... It means Ibuki was still standing when Hiyoko was mortally wounded. This would seem crazy. Um, someone goes to kill Hiyoko, but had but used Ibuki as a tool to do it, because Ibuki had the despair disease and was very gullible. Which means Ibuki was still alive at the exact moment Hiyoko was killed. Don't underestimate the power of the evil eye! Oh, I forgot about these. <laughs> Me no like these. Is that it? A shepherd dressed in his Sunday's finest still reeks of lamb, Hajime Hinata. Does that mean you have a rebuttal? Does that mean you have a rebuttal? Hmm. That's a good line. <laughs> but... Are you sure you're sure? If I show you how serious I am, this world might be destroyed, you know. You're so frightened, you can't even make a sound. It seems you've realized our difference in status. However, the time for conviction starts now. You better entertain me to the fullest. What are you making there, Leo?
You're saying the blood on Ibuki's feet belong to he- Ha! Impossible! Try to remember the crime scene. There was no- You can't step on blood that was never there. <laughs> Just a- See a nice nightmare. I can't back down! Yeah! As long as Ibuki's body has no open wounds, there's no doubt that that blood is Hyoko's. Mm-hmm. Yoko was taped to the pillar, yes. Mm hmm But it's possible that the pillar still had blood on it. However, you cannot step on the pillar with your... <laughs> you should... It's been nearly three years since I've had to use 60% of my power. What does that even mean? Damn it! I was overcome. He's gonna go. He's gonna go back to the original topic. You're saying the blood on Ibuki's feet belonged to Hiyoko? Ha! Impossible. Try to remember the crime scene. There was no blood. You can't step on blood that was never there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just Wait. Hold on. One minute. Um. Did you see a nice nightmare? Wait. You're saying the blood on Ibuki's feet belonged to Hiyoko? Yes. Ha! Impossible. Try to remember the crime scene. There was no blood on the floor. Yes, there oh, was. Cut through those words. Got it. Not it. The reason got a little no snack while I'm deployed during my shift. Oh, okay. The 20 deal pickle bands are just for me. Oh, okay. Uh, that's not it. the reason there was no blood on the floor is because the killer wiped it away after. Don't say such foolish things. You don't have proof of that at all. Yes, I do. You look close. There's a streak on the floor where blood was wiped away. But what did they wipe it with? That's the thing. When the killer tried to hide Yoko's body, they probably cleaned the blood at the same time, but... Unless if it was Hiyoko, who kind of dragged her feet through it, but I doubt that. Ibuki must have already stepped in it. I mean, it, Ibuki, I mean. the killer probably didn't even realize it. The reason they wiped off the blood on the floor was so we'd mix up the order of the murders, right? Even if they're able to hide Hiyoko's body, it'd be bad if her blood was left out in the open. Plus, Ibuki's body was left out in the open, and it wasn't bleeding from any open wounds at all. Hyoko's body was probably wrapped in duct tape to stop her bleeding. Actually, the bleeding will stop once the heart stops beating. So I don't think they had to go that far. Aside from Mikon, none of us were aware of that fact. So the killer probably did not know it either. Maybe that either was running inside the music venue so it would screw with Mikon's autopsy? Hmm. That's right! I didn't know the time of death because of the heater! The time of death wasn't mentioned in the Monokuma file, just right, to get evidence from us. Yep. Since we have all this evidence, there's no one else who wants to object, right? Then it's decided. Hyoko was killed before Ibuki. I think I'd agree. It appears that it is wiser to retreat for now. Fine then. But regardless of good or evil, there's no deceit in upholding one's convictions. Can't you just shut up and back off? <laughs> now then, let us resume our debate. Ah, wait a sec. There's something I want to run by Monokuma first. Uh huh? Again? Didn't something like this happen last time, too? Uh-huh. And the time before that, too. Hey, if the victim actually committed suicide, what are we supposed to do? Huh? Suicide? The same as always! You have to vote for who the killer is! Think about it! A suicide means you've killed the most important existence of all! Yourself! Unfortunately, that means there's no blackened to punish, but... I guess in a pinch, I can always punish Monami. Why me? Um, Nagito? What do you mean, if the victim actually committed suicide? Well, I mean, I understand Hiyoko's death. But I'm wondering if Ibuki was really murdered. For example, it's possible Ibuki killed Hiyoko and then committed suicide due to a guilty conscience, right? And that could be, but I don't see that happening. That's totally impossible. Then she never would have killed her to begin with. She was afflicted by the despair disease, remember? That means anything can happen. But if Ibuki's the killer, she wouldn't have been able to falsify the sequence of the murders, right? After Hajime saw the hanged body, 
The sudden appearance of Hyoko's body soon after means... It was either an accomplice, or maybe she was never dead in the first place. The killer had to be alive at that time. Then she was alive! <gasps> when Hajime first discovered Ibuki, she was just pretending to be dead. Okay, that's what I just said, but I don't think, I don't think that that would be it. If she waited until Hajime left, that's when she could have made her move and mess with the crime scene. She, she hanged herself, remember? There's no fucking way she could have faked that. And if she was going to fake her death, I think she wouldn't have chosen hanging. Her body would have been defenseless in that state. If anyone touched her, that alone would have ruined her plan. Hmm, I see. So that means there's no doubt that someone killed those two. I'm glad. Now I'm free to search for the killer. Nagato! What, what the heck? Ah, there's still one more issue on my mind. If Ibuki didn't commit suicide, then just what was that video Hajime saw? Hmm. It was what someone wanted him to think was happening. According to that video you saw, Ibuki was by herself when she climbed the stepladder, right? That doesn't look like Ibuki. Then does that mean someone forced her to do it? F forced? Perhaps they used hypnotism or something? No. They... She was gullible. I don't know anything about that. Don't say it all proud. Uh, uh, um, putting that aside, it seems obvious that the killer did something. So, maybe we should figure out who was able to do whatever that was. So, an alibi. Then our plan is to destroy the weakest alibi. Since Hajime has seen the video, it is clear what time the crime took place. Uh, but just to be sure, that surveillance camera doesn't have a record function, right? That's what Kazuichi said. He said it's basically only able to take live video it's not actually able to record anything or to it's able to transmit but it can't record it's a cheap ass surveillance camera you know there's no way it have some kind of sweet recording feature then the video hajime saw was actually live what time did hajime see that video it was before the first announcement so before 7 a.m i saw it at the hospital right before monokuma's morning announcement and i saw the body at the music venue a little after monokuma's announcement Hmm. So Ibuki hanged herself right before Monokuma's announcement. And since we established that Hyoko was killed before Ibuki, that means the time that the murders occurred was before and during the announcement. Then we just have to find the person who doesn't have an alibi during that time? Now then, I shall issue my decree. Let Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi commence. <laughs> Okay. We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the motel was doing that. So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have an alibi. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. That's not an alibi. Aside from those afflicted by the disease, if nobody has an alibi then, Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has failed. The murders supposedly happened before and during the morning announcement. The person who doesn't have an alibi for that time, Nekamaru. We can exclude <laughs> the sick people like me and Akane, right? And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the motel was doing that. So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't huh. have an... What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. Whoops. We were sleeping on our cottages, right? That's not an alibi since there's no one here to back it up, right? Yeah, Jamaica. Can't you do something about that? I'm counting on you to provide better cover fire. Crap. 
It's like I made a mistake. I need to think this over more. We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my motel. I don't remember what Mikan's account is. I think everyone at the motel. Wait, can I can I look to see what it is? Um, I can. Uh, right up until the Monokuma announcement that morning, Mikan was with Hajime the whole time. Afterwards, she went to the hospital to check on everyone and realized that Buki had disappeared. When she rushed out of the hospital to search for Buki, she apparently met up with, with Hiko. Okay. Um, so everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have an alibi. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be. My own cottage. What? We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? Oh gosh. Crap. We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane. And what about the others? Right before the morning, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the motel was doing that. So everyone who stayed at the motel. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be. That's not an alibi. Aside from those afflicted by the. D if nobody has an alibi, then. Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has failed! We can exclude uh, the sick people like me and Akane, right? And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. Wait, wait, I think wait. Everyone at the motel was doing that. Nope, because the so surveillance monitor the video was going off, which means someone was there. Means someone was there. We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? Oh, nope, nope, that's not what I meant to do. And what about the other? Right before the morning announced, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. Oh my gosh. If it's yellow or you're disagreeing, if it's blue, you're agreeing. Right. Crap! We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane. And what about the other? Right before the morning, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the motel was. So everyone is. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be. My own cottage. My own That's cottage. Aside from those afflicted by the. If nobody has an alibi, then. Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has failed. Let's see what Hiko's account is. After Hiko met Mikan in front of the hospital, they split up to search for Ibuki. They checked the movie theater in Electric Avenue, but they didn't find anyone. Apparently, Hiko and Mikan were only separated for a short time. We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the motel. So everyone is. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be. That's not an alibi. Aside from those afflicted by the disease, if nobody has an alibi, then. I'm very confused with this one. Did I make a mistake? I believe I'm not mistaken that when I say that nobody has an alibi. Also, if you have a rebuttal to make, please make sure it makes sense next time. Crap. We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? Mm hmm. And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the motel was doing that. So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have an alibi. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. That's not an alibi. Aside from those afflicted by the disease, if nobody has an alibi then... Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has failed! This is really weird. I don't... We can exclude the sick people. And what about the... Right this is... I was totally this is not gonna go well. Everyone. So everyone is... What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be. My own cottage. 
Crap! Crap! We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? Movies imitation ticket. Others? I I don't right know how that plays into anything. I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the motel is doing that. Wait. So everyone wait, who stayed at the wait. motel doesn't have an alibi. What about you guys? Hold on. I was where I was but that's I think I see something. If nobody operation destroyed the weakest alibi has failed. We can exclude the sick people like Oh shoot, time's up. Oh my gosh. Yes, I'd like to retry. We will never give up. On one of those, someone goes, um, and it's Sonia. She wasn't sleeping. Apparently. Maybe. Okay. We can exclude the sick people like me and Akon. And what about the right before them? I was totally sleeping in my motel. Nope. What? Crap. We can exclude the sick people. And what about the right before them? I was totally asleep. I think everyone. Is so everyone is sick. What about you guys? I was where I was, but that's not. The fact that those if nobody has an alibi, then. We can exclude the sick people this like one. me and Akane, right? I hate this one. And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. Now I'm just gonna keep shooting everything. That's that's what's happening here. We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? And what about the others? Right before them, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. Alright, I think I'd already tried that before, but I figured I would try again. We can exclude the sick people. And what about the right before them? I was totally sleeping. I think everyone is. So everyone is sick. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be. That's not an alibi. Aside from those afflicted by the if nobody has an alibi, then. We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? And what about the others? Right before the morning announced, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the motel was doing that. So everyone who stayed at the motel... What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be. My own cottage. Hey there, Whiskey. I'm you having a very hard time with this. People like me and Akane, right? And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the motel was doing that. So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have an alibi. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. That's not an alibi. Aside from those afflicted by the disease, if nobody has an alibi then... Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has failed! We can exclude the sick and what about the right before them? I was totally asleep. I think everyone. So everyone is. What about you guys? I was wrong. What was about you guys? We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? Oh, I don't and know. And what about the others? Right before the morning, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the motel was doing that. So everyone who stayed... What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to... That's not an alibi. Aside from those afflicted, but if nobody has an alibi, then... Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has failed! We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? Well, no, what okay. About the others? Right before the morning, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the... So everyone who stayed at the... What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be. My own... That's not an alibi. Aside from those afflicted by the... D if nobody has an alibi... Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has Hold failed. Hold on. 